We talk about the X, Y, and Z axis to think in three dimensions. The X axis being the plumb line looking in front of the horse and, and how that, you know, my hands or the legs, are they wide, narrow? And, and so that's your X axis. Your Y axis is how they're twisted or misaligned. And then the Z axis is the front to the back. So by understanding which axis is not correct, that, that you can pretty much predict the kind of lameness or performance problems the horse will have. And then we could do things no different than a person who makes orthotics for people. We can do things with the shoes to help balance out these legs. Shoeing and trimming is very important to, to deal with conformation defects. For instance, uh, dressage, as well as many other you know, competitive sports, the horse has to have not only the proper legs underneath and the proper whole body balance situation, you know, not too long a back, not too short, you know, like the Goldilocks thing. We don't want too much, we don't want too little, we want everything just right. And so there's always variations of that. But if you're gonna do dressage, jumping, uh, I'm a polo player, so anything that really requires hind end engagement, if the horse doesn't have a good hind end, a properly conformed hind end, that horse is either going to go lame or suffer being forced to do these types of activities or if we have minor problems and we shoe for them we can keep this horse going longer we can help this horse perform better so we have to recognize what are the things that are going to interact with us that will not work well and how to um, stay we want to shoe proactively not reactively and so by recognizing confirmation problems and that puts us in that environment that we're able to um, help these horses before they really need help. So that's very important. So hind end to me is the place to start. Everybody likes to start with the front end and that's certainly important but again if a horse has, has a beautiful front end and uh, not so good hind end you're at a handicap right there. And there are front end issues that are separate from the hind end and so on, but a horse with a very good hind end can deal with front end issues that aren't so good. The opposite is not true.